been strong. Me and my team been talking about it. I mean, my team and I you know, been talking about it all season. Like since postseason, like every every meet we just kept getting faster and faster. And like one day it's just gonna gonna peak. It's gonna blow them away. And that's what we did in the final. Uh, coming in the race, we were sitting second. Uh, we had we ran in the 43s, and we knew we had to get our time lower, and like our handoffs had to be perfect in order for us to win. Had to come down the handoffs, and it was gonna be a great finish. Whoever had to lean at the end. It was just cramping. Okay. Then on the turn, when I straighten up, it just went. Oh wow. How'd you finish the race as strong as you did? I didn't want to lose. 2011 state champion turned in a winning time of 151.44. He was fourth in this event a year ago. He is your state champion as a senior this year, representing the Fighting Irish of Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's. Help us congratulate Jacob Swords, state champion, boys of the Hill. Does this make up for yesterday in any way? Not, not really. No, we, we would have loved to get that 4x8 because. I mean, our goal was undefeated all season in the, in the 4x8 and in the 800, uh, but losing that 4x8 yesterday, it's, it's still tough, but we're just a great team, they just ran better. State champion girls 3200 meter run. The winning time was 1104.55 seconds. A senior representing the Royals of Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. Help us congratulate state champion Christina Blair. To run the best I can, I ran as hard as I could to do. It feels good. I did not realize how the team scoring was going. I really never cared about that. But it's obviously it's a nice little added feature. As I take blame for the 4x8 teams, both guys and girls, uh, I didn't have them ready. And that was my fault. And Because they ran their hearts out. And so to come back and run today, knowing emotionally what happened to both of those teams yesterday, Jacob Swords, it was uh, beyond, beyond my imagination what he could pull off. Uh, Duran Grant, and he just did a tremendous job for us the, uh, across the board. It was a hot day, and they just they all responded well. So on the guys' side, going into the year, all it was was girls, because we come off the girls' state championship. So the guys really weren't expected to do anything, and uh, we the guys seemed to just seem to have a quiet confidence about them that they needed to complete the task. So they, and they did that. Showing your appreciation for the first track and field state title in school history. Vincent St. Mary's High School.